Good morning, happy hippo. Today, the book that Miss Yad is going to read, it's about a turtle. And her name is Tammy. Say hi to Tammy. The title of this book is Tammy Turtle, a Tale of Saving Sea Turtle. Tammy Turtle. One dark night, Tammy Turtle hatched from an egg in a sandy nest. She had a hundred brothers and sisters. They hatched that night too. Tammy and the other turtle hatchlings were tiny. They need help, but helpful human had found the eggs 55 days early and checked on them every day. They were there to watch over the little larger heads as they hatch. We should be heading for the sea, Tammy said to Tizzy, her newly hatched sister. Yes, replied Tizzy Turtle. Something tells me the hungry animals are all around us. But the baby turtles didn't need to worry. The helpful humans guarded them. They keep them safe from raccoon and ghost crab. Suddenly, the nest began to boil. It boiled over with dozens of tiny turtles as they sprang into action. The water glowed and showed them where to go. Tammy and Tizzy and their brothers and sisters hurried toward, toward it. Here we go, cried Tammy as they all slid into. Waves watched over the turtles and turned them upside down. The sea was the sea was a wild place. Hungry animals were there too. But every tiny turtle knew that, but every tiny turtle knew that it should head for deeper water and they all knew it without any grow up turtle to guide them. Go fast. Nature had given them a source of energy to escape the, their enemies. For early, each tiny turtle had a sort jolt from its egg. It gave them enough food to last three to five days. The tiny turtle didn't stop for anything. They swam as fast as they could until they came to the Gulf Stream. The water was warm in the Gulf Stream and full of sea life. A plant called sargassum, we floated in it. Oh, we can hide in this seaweed, said Tammy, and look for good things to eat, added Tizzy. The little turtle did find plenty of food in the Gulf Stream. Later, they drift apart and each one Swamp ate and grew larger. Several years went by and Tammy Turtle came big and strong. One day, Tammy was looking for food. She saw one of her favorite foods, jellyfish. She, oh, I will gulp that down at once, thought Tammy and she grabbed it with her big beak. But it wasn't a jellyfish. It was a plastic bag left by careless human. Tammy Turtle felt sick after eating it. She couldn't, she could not even swim well. Wave tossed the tired turtle and washed her 
assured. Again, helpful humans were there and found Tammy. Maybe we can save the sea turtle, they say. We will take her to a place where she can rest and get well. So they took Tammy Turtle to a science center. She was put into a large tank and cared for every day. Soon, Tammy was well enough to return to the sea. A tag was put on one flipper. The tag would tell humans about her if they found her again. Then they took Tammy to the beach. A man came with his camera. He put Tammy Toto on TV and a crowd of people came to wish her well. Tammy thought humans really do care about me, but it's time to say goodbye. <clears throat> and she crawled into the sea. Tammy passed and Tammy became a fully grown mother turtle. One dark night, she crawled ashore. She came up on the beach to lay her eggs in a sandy nest. Soon, another turtle slowly dragged herself out of water, of the water. Tizzy, is that you? cried Tammy. I came to lay my eggs too, answered Tizzy. It was most amazing. Tammy and Tizzy had come back near the beach of the bird to lay their eggs. Helpful humans came again to the beach and quickly watched the mother turtles. The big log head dug the nest in the sand with the black with the with the back flippers. Tammy and Tizzy act as if they were in a daze. They didn't notice the humans at all. The turtle quickly laid the eggs and then, using the flipper, covered the eggs with sand. When Tammy and Tizzy were finished, they slowly crawled to the water. They never looked back at their nest and swam away in the sea just like their mother had done years before. And that is the end. Say bye to Tammy. Bye-bye, happy hippos.